All right, AMD is a super in attack mode. Look, just a couple of days ago, we had seven new processors that are dropping that they announced. The 5800X 3D with 3D vCache to improve gaming performance and six other ones. And yeah, some of them are based on Zen 2, some of them are based on Zen 3. How cool is it that you come up with a, uh, a product that is still relevant all these years later? The new processors are aimed at uh, the lower end of the market, the, the lesser expensive parts, if you will, from $99 for the Ryzen 3 part based on Zen 2 cores. Some of them are APUs with the graphics part disabled. Again, no chiplet goes un unsold at AMD. This is a pretty exciting strategy that they're able to do this. It's pretty exciting that they're able to execute on this. And some of these APUs weren't available in the DIY market um, for a long time because OEMs have been buying these. So like the 4000 series, this is a 4600G that's coming out, that's new. But we also reviewed a 4650G that we ordered and got in for OEM. We augmented the ASRock Desk Mini. Look for that review if you're interested in that. This is another 65 watt part. It's clocked a little lower. It's a little, it's a little lower end, a little less expensive. Uh, but still, I've been very, very happy with the ASRock Desk Mini. I did uh, development for the, the M-Star Model M replacement stuff on that Desk Mini, and uh, that project is still ongoing and all kinds of fun stuff. But today, today we're going to talk about the new Radeon software upgrade. This is a big update. There are a lot of changes here under the hood. You're going to want to do a fresh install probably. When you do an install, the AMD driver does give you the option of doing a clean install or a fresh install, so hopefully gone are the days of using a tool like DDU to just completely remove the graphics driver and reinstall it. Yeah, hopefully that's that's, that's increasingly a thing of the past uh, since AMD has added that feature a while ago. AMD Adrenaline Software Alt-R is the, the hotkey to uh, open the Adrenaline software when you're running a game and be able to configure and, and change things. You can turn on anti-lag, image sharpening, super resolution. You can configure individual games. There's a, a lot of a polish that's been added, but there's some big new features. One of those is RSR, Radeon Super Resolution. This is enabling FSR for basically any application that no longer requires game support. And it also works with games that don't uh, truly support full screen. So sometimes in some games in the graphics menu, when you enable full screen, it's really going into sort of a borderless window mode you can actually use borderless window mode now with games that are not rendering in the native resolution of your display. You know, in the past, I'm thinking three, four years ago, there were a lot of people on our forum and, and the, that I engage with online who would say things like, uh, I want to stick with a 2560 by 1440p monitor because, uh, you know, I tried 4K and I like the productivity real estate of 4K, but I don't want to scale my games when I'm playing. Nothing looks better than the native resolution of an LCD display. And historically, that's been true. That's been true until today with this, because having the graphics driver do the FSR magic to do the scaling is a game changer. If you want to play a game at 1440p, if your GPU plays the game that you want at 1440p, but you have a 4K display, this type of upscaling really makes the 4K look like it's rendering in native 4K. And the performance is comparable to when you're playing at 1440p. If you want something with even higher visual fidelity than 1440p, and your graphics card can push the frame rate that you want at the parameters you want, you could render something in between, like 1800p, and it will scale 1800p up to full screen. Like if you had your game set for borderless window, and you set the resolution to 1080, 1920 by 1080, but your your actual display is 2560 by 1440, you know that you know it just it plays in a little box, and then you can see that your Windows desktop around it. No, you go in the Adrenaline software and you say, hey, I want you to always upscale this game, 3D on super resolution, upscale it to my native desktop resolution. The game will think that it's rendering in 1080p. The game is actually rendering in 1080p, but the Adrenaline software is going ahead and stretching that to take up your, your full display. So you get all the benefits of, of FSR, plus some cool new, neat features where it's actually doing the scaling. So this sort of solves a problem with borderless window in terms of like the resolution and scaling because you can run whatever resolution you want now, even resolutions that aren't real monitor resolutions and uh, have it scale and perform exactly like how you want. So that's pretty awesome. This technology also kind of dovetails with new changes around record and stream. 
and AMD Link. And so both of those technologies depend on taking that and low latency, sending that game down the wire. Now you might only be streaming your game to your living room TV, which is not gonna have a, a fancy expensive GPU plugged into it probably. Uh, or you might be streaming it to a mobile device or something like that. So there have been a lot of updates for virtual control, keyboard control. They've even added voice command to AMD Link. So you can say things like start benchmark, stop benchmark, turn FPS on, you know, FPS on or off to display FPS and have some uh, of the, the kind of controls that you have from the Alt-R Radeon menu, but on the mobile device, and you can optimize for the amount of bandwidth that you have. Now, a lot of the testing that AMD provided, again, didn't have a lot of time here, was with the 6800 XT. It's a pretty high-end card. You, I've seen it come in stock at Micro Center. But what about a 5900X, a 12-core, that's more my speed, but with an RX 6600 XT? Look, if you can get a good deal on the RX 6600 XT, I think that's one of the best cards this generation, at least if you can get it close to MSRP, because the performance is really killer. Dirt 5, average FPS, with everything turned up, you know, it's rendering at 1080p, but it's scaled to 4K, it's 57 FPS. That is pretty crazy. We tested a bunch of other games with the 6600 XT, and similarly, impressive performance gains. Now this is not new in this driver, but if you look at the launch day performance of the 6800 XT, you can see that AMD has actually made pretty significant advances in a lot of popular games since launch. And that's even true of the 6600 XT, which didn't launch that long ago. So we're seeing performance uplift from newer drivers, you know, you get the free benefit of upgrading there, but also the enhanced, uh, you know, sharpening, they're, they're tweaking stuff under the hood more than just raw performance. Borderlands 3 is imminently playable at over 77 FPS in 1440p with the 6600 XT. Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 4K with everything on high, again that's not maximum, that's not really an apples to apples comparison, but that's 52 FPS. If you're playing with FreeSync, that is very playable. So all in all, the software update is pretty powerful, and especially if you've got an older card, you can get a lot more juice out of your, your 5000 or 6000 series card, so you should definitely check it out. So a little bit of an audience engagement challenge here. You know, historically, AMD has struggled a little bit with some of the streaming stuff, especially when we're talking about third-party software, things like Open Broadcaster. I didn't have a chance to test that. I haven't really had a lot of time with the software update before the software update. I mean, AMD was kind enough to provide this a little ahead of time so I can play with it, but I got sucked into the black hole of Radeon Super Resolution because you can use that on things that are not games. You can use it on applications. Well, you can do content adaptive image sharpening on things. So if you want to turn that on for Google Chrome or VLC or something like that, you totally can do that. Also emulation, but I'm not going to show you that because I fear Nintendo. That's part of the engagement challenge. Go try this, turn this on, play with these, these image settings and whatever application you want. If you've got a really cool Simu setup and you're doing something that is just breathtakingly awesome with something old, that's great. Show it off in the level one forums. I'm not gonna put it in a video, but you can show it off in the level one forums and show off what cool thing that you had with uh, image sharpening and enhancement and stuff like that. You would be surprised how good some of those old games can look uh, with upscaling because you get you know you get your your emulator which also ha has its plug-in that's doing upscaling and rendering and all this other kind of stuff and you, then you layer this on top of it and the combination of the two can have some really amazing results it's easy to also get terrible results but you can have some really amazing results as well so between this software update and the 5800x 3d on the horizon it's shaping up like it's gonna be a really amazing summer for gamers uh, with AMD. So I'm really pretty excited to try this and I'm really excited to see your feedback because you know this is a major software update and engagement challenge want you the users you get a 5000 or 6000 series AMD card this update is for you do the update let me know what your feedback is on the level one forum let me know what I should be testing let me know if you're having a problem and I'll see if I can replicate it if you you know love AMD link let me know. Or if you ran into a problem with AMD Link, something you don't like about it, let me know in the forums. I'm Wendell, this is Level 1, I'm signing out, and you can find me in the Level 1 forums playing with that new Adrenaline software. <laughs>